We start this morning with our Commitment 2020 coverage as the presidential campaign makes a stop here on the Central Coast. Democratic presidential candidate and author Marianne Williamson brought her Join the Evolution campaign to Scotts Valley Friday night. Action News reporter Christopher Salas was there and has our top story. Good morning. Now we had a chance to speak with Williamson after her speech last night and she laid out her plan if she's elected president. From start to finish, it is time once again for the people. The crowd in Scotts Valley was engaged in presidential candidate Marianne Williamson's message. It's a mindset that says that corporate profits are the new God. We asked Williamson if she's making a spiritual argument rather than a political one, and she told us she believes politics has always been spiritual. And the founding of this country was not only a political movement forward, it was a philosophical step forward in terms of the possibilities for the human race. It is actually an aberration that our political conversation has become so overly corporatized. Williamson said if elected president, she wants to create what's called compassionate capitalism. Our American capitalism over the last few years has swerved from any ethical core that while it continues to be very good at creating economic opportunities, it's good at creating economic opportunities for it is relatively a few people. Central to that message is her plan to spend 200 to 500 billion dollars on slavery reparation payments. How do you decide <clears throat> who pays for it? And then how do you decide who gets maybe some of that benefit? The stipulation on the part of the United States government is the following, that the money be used for purposes of educational and economic renewal. She didn't answer the question about who exactly would pay for it in our sit-down interview, but she did say during her speech that she'll pay for it by raising taxes on the 1% and cutting defense spending. It will release psychological power, spiritual power. For those who came to see Williamson Friday night say they believe she's authentic. I believe what she's selling and love does beat hate, for sure. I think she, said, she needs everything she says. Nothing compared to what's going to show up when we create a phenomenon. Williamson acknowledged she's a long shot for the nomination, but she said her faith in winning is like the center of her campaign. It's more about the message than the numbers. You saw tonight, and I have audiences like that everywhere I go. Would you stop if you were me? And asked Williamson what she would do if she was elected president on her first day. She said she would try to get corporate lobbying out of politics. Reporting in Scotts Valley, I'm Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8, Weekend Sunrise. At this point, it's uncertain if Williamson is going to make the next Democratic debate. She needs to poll at higher than 2%, and right now she's sitting at around 1%.